Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency, Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. Now be seated. Good morning and welcome to the launching of the Cebuana Luwiliers Conegocio Center. To begin our program, may we please call on Mr. Andre Luwilier, Senior Executive Vice President of Cebuana Luwilier, to give his opening remarks. His Excellency, President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. Department, Department of Interior and Local Government, Secretary Benjamin Ablos Jr. Presidential Advisor on Investment and Economic Affairs, Secretary Frederick Goh. Secretary Chiloy Velicaria Garfield, PCO. Presidential Advisor on Creative Communications, Mr. Paul Soriano. Our guests from different local government units. Media guests. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome to you all. Today is a momentous occasion as we proudly launch the Can Negotio Center powered by Sibana Lillier. We are delighted that you're all here today as we put the spotlight on micro, small, and medium enterprises. I am sure everyone in this room has, one way or another, been in contact with an MSME. A sari sari store owner would always make it a point to smile at every customer. An online shop that puts up such creative videos that we just watch it and hopefully we'll buy something or the mana who runs a restaurant that's not so near, but everybody will drive just to get a taste. Or the mobile cafe, or the ice cream man, who started the business with just a few thousand pesos, but they make sure your coffee or your ice cream is just the way you want it. In relation to these examples, you might have thought of a specific face or a place of an MSME in your respective communities where folks from different walks of life, each with a story to tell, a motivation to succeed, and a big dream to achieve. We recognize their valuable contributions in economic growth and job creations. Their products and services exemplify the Filipino spirit, the ingenuity, and our resourcefulness. We do everything with a smile. Today, I'd like to reiterate our commitment to continuously innovate and provide opportunities and possibilities for Filipinos and MSMEs in particular. As the Philippines' leading and largest microfinancial service provider, Cebuano Lulier has always championed financial inclusion. We know we are in a great position to empower MSMEs, to fuel their passion, and help them actualize their dreams. Knowing all of these, 
we've come up with more solutions and services that can cater to this sector. The Khan Negotio Center, powered by Cebuano Lulier, aims to support aspiring and current MSMEs in their journey to make their business easier and more accessible. We at Cebuano Lulier are proud to take on this role. We believe in the potential and in the dream of the Filipino. And we hope today inspires us all to extend support to Filipino MSMEs in any way we can. Maraming salamat. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Luvillier. And now, may we call on Mr. John Henry Luvillier, President and CEO of Cebuana Luvillier, to give an overview of the Ka Negosyo Center. To His Excellency President Ferdinand Marcus Jr., to the Department of Interior Local Government Secretary Benjamin Abelot, Presidential Advisor on Investment and Economic Affairs Cedric Frederick Go, Secretary Chiloy Carafil, PSO, Communications. Mr. Paul Soriano, congressmen, congresswomen, mayors, vice mayors, governors, DTI, TESTA, CDA, partners from the private sector, and our friends from the media, good morning to all of you. It brings me great pleasure and excitement to welcome all of you here today. Almost a year ago to this day, President Marcus Jr. was officially proclaimed as 17th President of the Philippines. In one of our discussions, he expressed a mission of urgency, a part of his plan for economic recovery and development. When President Marcus asked me to look into the MSME sector, I thought it was a great idea. But then I realized it was a lot of work. But then I was really glad to get to meet all of the great mayors we have around the country. And in line with the new travel slogan in the Philippines, love the Philippines, I got lucky to have firsthand experience of that. Our president wanted to reach out and assist our very backbone of the Philippine economy, the micro, small, and medium enterprises. He was bent on making sure that all MSMEs are supported and not ignored, especially on the road to recovery from the pandemic. And we from the private sector are one with the government empowering the Filipino MSMEs. With Cebuana Lulier's goal of fulfilling financial inclusion, our track record and nationwide network, I knew that we had a pivotal role to play in this mission. The task was not an easy feat, but with the excellent team and partners who share the same vision, we made it happen, hand in hand with the national and local government units. Today and the days to come are a testament of the strength of collaboration between the public and private sector. On behalf of Cebuano Lulier, I express my deepest gratitude. Maraming maraming salamat to each and every one of you for joining hands with us to make this happen. Mr. President, I am proud to present to you an open ecosystem of products, services, and practical coaching focused on empowering the Filipino dream. The Ka Negosyo Center, powered by Cebuano Lulier, a partner for every Filipino who aspires to expand or expand his or her business. Salamat.
From a small pawn shop in Pasay City, Cebuana Luillier has evolved to be one of the Philippines' largest microfinancial service providers. Cebuana Luillier has served close to a million MSMEs. This makes Cebuana Luillier a true champion of MSMEs. At the same time, laws and initiatives for MSMEs have been in place since the early 2000s. Providing resources for entrepreneurs, especially on the micro scale. In the 2022 MSME Summit, President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. pushed for the revitalization of MSMEs as one of the administration's top priorities. However, there are still barriers that hinder MSMEs from starting and growing their businesses. Saan ako magsisimula? Ano ang kailangan ko? Ano kuunahin ko? Sino ang kakausapin ko? Cebuana Luillier supports President Marcos's government efforts by now providing a solution to all these challenges. Negoso made simple with the Canigoso Center. The Canigoso Center is a one-stop shop for Filipino MSMEs and aspiring business owners alike. With three key features, the Canigoso Coach provides guidance through workbooks and videos discussing topics. The videos feature industry expert and well-known business coaches. I'm glad that uh, Cebuana has joined the fold to really help our micro and small entrepreneurs. The more Canigoso centers we have, the better it is. To address the challenges that come with paperwork, the Tanigosho Assist guides MSMEs and new business owners on the what's, why's, and how's of permits and forms. Whether for registrations, for permits, for your employees' needs, and even LGU assistance for different cities. Through the Canigoso bundles, entrepreneurs can gain access to loans and insurance portfolios through the Simula and Paglago bundles. They can also manage a savings account to help them start or expand their businesses. Our partnership with ATRAM enables our clients to start their investment journey for as low as 500 pesos. And with NSTAC, we empower MSME owners to start selling and fulfill orders in three easy steps. The Canigoso Center is an open architecture designed to ensure strategic partnerships will be made to provide the Filipino MSME a one-stop, tech-rich shop for their growing needs. You can access all these through the Canigoso Center website, anywhere, anytime. The Canigoso Center website is also accessible through kiosks in 22 local government unit offices and in selected Cebuana Luillier branches nationwide. Through the Canigoso Center, we create solutions for more aspiring entrepreneurs and MSME owners. Napakadaling gamitin at panoorin yung mga video. Marami akong natutunan. Ang laking tulong ang nabigay ng Canigoso Assist sa pagrehistro sa BIR, DTI at lalo na sa Barangay Micro Business Enterprise. Buti na lang, nabalitaan ko itong Canigoso Center, ang Canigoso Bundles. Nakapag-loan ako ng pondo. Meron ako insurance at nagbukas na rin ako ng savings account. We are delighted and proud to provide yet another accessible platform for our kababayans. This time, to help and support micro, small, and medium enterprises so that every aspiring Filipino business owner can now own a business. Within its two-week pilot, the Canigoso Center has garnered over 100,000 members. More than 20,000 have consumed our coaching video modules. Serve micro biz loans and micro insurance solutions to business owners in 79 provinces. And over millions of pesos of loans have been disbursed. As we go full speed ahead, we expect to impact more aspiring entrepreneurs. From hundreds to thousands, and soon to millions and millions of Filipinos to be served by Canigoso Center. At this juncture, may we call on Secretary Benjamin Abalos Jr of the Department of Interior and Local Government
to introduce our guest of honor. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency, Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos, Jr. Uh, thank you to our uh, Interior and Local Government Secretary, Secretary uh, Ben Hur Abulis, please, please take your seat. Uh, the other members of the Cabinet who are here present, and of course, uh, John Henri Villiers, the President and CEO of the PJ Villiers Group of Companies, fellow workers in government, ladies and gentlemen, and of course our partners in the private sector, other distinguished guests, good morning. Well, this is turning out to be a truly productive and exciting day as we witness the launch of yet another promising endeavor to support our drive to uplift the economy. Let me congratulate, of course, uh, the PJ Lwilia Group of Companies and its flagship brand, Cebuana Lwilia, as you launch the much anticipated by everyone, myself included, much anticipated Kanegosho Center. <laughs> I think it uh, serves as a bit of a background as to how all of this, uh, all of this occurred. Uh, the truth of the matter is this discussion started between the ambassador to uh, uh, our ambassador to Spain, uh, Ambassador Philip Villier, uh, when I was in Spain in 2020, where I uh, managed to contract COVID also. But nonetheless, when I was, uh, when I was with him, he, we were talking about this, and we were talking about how we can help small because he's a, a, of his exposure and his great, he had his great experience when it came to dealing with small businesses and how to assist them. And uh, it was a, a, a remarkable conversation. It went on over a few days. And at some point, he said, my, my son is actually uh, working on precisely that. And so, uh, but as I said, COVID set in. So na postponed lahat ng aming usapan for about 10, uh, 10 years, two years. But uh, we were able to finally meet each other uh, b during the campaign. It was already during the campaign. And John Henry was saying that he had plans precisely in, that, uh, in the area that uh, we were talking about with the ambassador. And so if you uh, look at it, it was really, uh, in, in terms of uh, the involvement of the government, it was a three, this has been three years in the making. And I keep... Uh, <laughs> Uh, I, I've been nagging, actually, uh, John Henry, and say, asana, asana, where's the, what's our, where's our project? Where, how do we get started? And like a good businessman, he made sure that things were in place and that they, they were pilots uh, of the different, different parts of the, of the plan. And now we have now, uh, he has put together this Kanegosho and has put together a concept uh, in a principle, simple actually, but it requires a good deal of organization, it requires a good deal of knowledge of what this market is and how we can do best to our MSMEs. We have now extended the definition, MSMEs is micro, small and medium term enterprises. We have begun to include what we call nano enterprises, which are so small that they, they do not actually fall into any category of uh, electronic, uh, of, uh, of uh, uh, economic uh, activity uh, because they're way below, the, way below the radar. And so these are the people that we are trying to help. And what we are trying to do here is to, is, is first having recognized that the economies of the, of the world the economies of different countries and the global economy has been fundamentally changed by the pandemic. And that is why we have to do different things now. And that's why we were trying, the, 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 the basic concept behind this is that 
we are trying to create an ecosystem for startups. And that is really what we are trying to do. We are trying to help uh, small businesses who have a good idea. They want to put up uh, uh, a, a, a uh, I don't know, garahe para mag, 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 mag mechanico sila. Meron yan, magbubukas ng beauty parlor na maliit lang, dalawa lang, uh, tatlong ano lang. Uh, ang, ang, ang kliyente at the time. Meron dyan, gagawa ng pagkain, gagawa, magbe-baking, gagawa ng, ng mamon, gagawa ng ano. Ito naman, maliliit lang. Ngunit, kung hindi nila naunawaan kung ano ba ang kailangan gawin. Halimbawa, what would an ordinary housewife know on how to deal with a bank? How will the ordinary housewife know on how to account, how to keep books? That's why meron dito kanegosyo coach tinuturuan nila. And that's something that we've experienced before. And I, the, 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 the good basis that we have here in the Philippines is kakaunti lang talaga ang tamad na Pilipino. Karamihan ng Pilipino gusto magtrabaho. Kahit na binibigyan natin ng IEX, kahit binibigyan natin ng tupad, kahit binibigyan natin ng ayuda, at some point, ang Pinoy sasabihin, Uh, okay, maraming salamat, nakatulong yan, pero gusto kong magtrabaho. Eh, gusto, hindi ko gusto yung, basta nag-aantay lang ako ng handout. Hindi, wala sa ugali ng Pilipino yon. And that's what we build on. And uh, this is what Kanegosyo and all the other programs that are hoping to assist our small businesses, that is what we are trying to achieve. And uh, that we need Uh, we, you, you, we need this, this uh, actually the idea began uh, a few years back, a, few, a couple of decades back, is back when uh, the Indian model of microfinancing, where they brought the idea of something like 5,000 pesos na pwede microfinance. The reason banks don't do microfinancing is because the work that is involved in giving a 10,000 peso loan is the same as the work that is involved in giving a 1 billion peso loan. So, let's go with the big bucks, di ba? May matrabaho talaga. Matrabaho talaga. That is why it is, not, it is not something that is done just purely out of business instinct. It's not something that is done that, uh, para kumita lang. This is something that is done para tumulong. And that, I think, is the difference in what we see with these programs that are helping the MSMEs. That's why we can do uh, nothing but, but applaud and continue to support all of the efforts, uh, such as uh, Canigosio, uh, all the efforts of our, well, our entrepreneurs teaching our uh, upcoming entrepreneurs on how to do business. It's the only way that we can do. It is, uh, I, I am sure you have heard the statistics ad infinitum, 99% of our businesses are MSMEs. 62-63% of our working force are employed by MSMEs. So there is no way that if we are trying to help the economy, if we are trying to transform the economy, that we, cannot, we, that we do not attend to that enormous slice of our economy. Hindi lang yung malalaking korporasyon. Marami silang maitutulong. Ngunit, may ang gobyerno ay kailangan Pumasok at tumulong and to encourage such programs as Kanegosyo. And uh, I was actually quite, uh, uh, quite happy to see Joey Concepcion as one of your endorsers, which indicates that uh, despite the fact that he has been doing and will continue to do the same thing, more or less, in a different way, of course, you have your own ways to, old techniques, that you see each, others not, you see each other not as competitors, but as partners. And that is the heart of what we are doing here. Uh, and that, that we are trying to work together. We spoke a lot, isinisigaw natin nung kampanya na kailangan magkaisa. Yan ang aking at tinutukoy. Yung mga ganyang klaseng uh, uh, programa na ay nagtutulungan imbis na naglalabanan. Dahil ang, uh, ang makikinabang talaga dyan ay ang taong bayan yung mga maliliit na matutulungan natin. So, 
Magpapasalamat kami sa lahat ng mga na-involved para mabuo itong kanegosyo. Uh, of course, powered by Cebuano Luillier. <laughs> but we will have, uh, John Henry uh, assures me that we will have many other partners in this. And that's part of the PPP concept that we have tried to encourage in government. So this is a, this is a, a program that brings many, many elements together. And uh, I, I am sure that uh, if we continue to be committed, to work hard, and to be sensitive to the needs of the people, uh, magiging successful naman siguro ang ating, ang ating mga ginagawa sa pagtulong and to create that ecosystem for the small businesses to be able to thrive and hopefully turn small businesses into larger businesses as they go down the road. So congratulations once again to uh, the Canegosio uh, program. Congratulations to Sean Henry. I know that we still have a lot of work ahead of us, but nonetheless, you can be assured that we are working together very closely down the same direction, you in the private sector and us in the government, helping one another so that we can transform this economy so as to be able to be competitive worldwide and find ourselves as a, a, a investment destination, as a thriving economy with a stable, uh, with a stable situation in our country. That is the dream, that is the aspiration. I sincerely believe that with programs like this, with all of us working together, we can achieve that. Thank you very much and good morning. Thank you very much, Mr. President. At this point, may you request the President to kindly grant us a photo opportunity. May we please invite on stage the Cabinet Secretaries. May we request Mr. Anton Lopez and the first set of local government officials to please prepare for the photo. Thank you very much. May we invite now on stage Mr. Anton Lopez and the local government officials. May we request the Cebuana Luillier Management Committee to please prepare for their photo opportunity. Thank you. Please exit to your right. May we now invite on stage the Cebuana Luvillier Management Committee for a photo opportunity.
May we now request the members of the Louvillier family to please prepare. Thank you. Please exit to your right. May we now finally invite on stage the members of the Louvillier family. Thank you very much. Please exit to your right. And with that, thank you very much, Mr. President, for granting us a photo opportunity. That concludes our program. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos, Jr. <laughs>